So we have gone into depth about Politicon, which is going to be happening on the 20th and the 21st of October. It is legitimately, quite literally, less than two weeks away. It is less than 14 days away. And I had explained that basically, we still don't know who David Pakman is going to be 1v1 debating. I don't even know if he's going to be 1v1 debating anybody. But uh, we've gone into a few different things. So originally, the first flag of Politicon was, you know, the first red flag was, whoa, how do we not know who David Pakman is debating when we're just, you know, less than two weeks out? So we hear, we know that, and then... Uh, David Pakman explains that basically there were a bunch of conservatives, a bunch of Republicans who, what he, the way that he phrased it was effectively chickened out of debating. Um, and obviously the speculation is there as to, okay, you know, who was it who did that? Who were the people who actually backed out? Uh, I don't know. The person I speculated it was was Ben Shapiro. But the truth is, there's no way to know until he directly speaks about it. Now, he did sort of hint, he did sort of hint at the idea that he was going to explain who it was and reveal it, but we don't know if that's actually going to happen or not. All, all we can do is hope, because I really want to know who he was talking about. Um, but uh, we also found out Ann Coulter backed out of the debate with Kyle Kalinske. Um, as I explained, I'm pretty sure, and someone can check me on this uh, if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the debate was confirmed to happen longer than the amount of time left in which she departed. So it is unethical on the part of Ann Coulter to do that because you essentially promise to do this debate and you pull out with less than two weeks to go. Now, you don't, you're not forced to debate people you don't want to debate, right? That's not the issue here. So if you were to have been given the proposition of, you know, Kyle Kalinske versus Ann Coulter, and you accept, at least that's what we think, unless Politicon didn't even do that, but to our understanding, that's what it is. Now, if that's the case, that is messed up, because now you're talking about unethically pulling out with less than two weeks to go, which is unethical. You can't confirm something and then just pull out with less than two weeks left. That's unethical. That's fucked up, right? It's messed up. Uh, so we found out she backed out. Now we got the prospect of a David Pakman and Kyle Kalinske 2v2 debate um, against Candace Owens and Charlie Kirk. Candace Owens and Charlie Kirk are the king of imbeciles and morons over at Turning Point USA, uh, which is founded by Charlie Kirk and essentially funded by right-wing billionaires. But anyways, that 2v2, as I've explained, would be amazing. It would be amazing. Uh, so... Here's something interesting. David Pakman is going to explain that the debate is not yet confirmed. Okay, I've got another Politicon update. I, I hope we don't have to do this every day now. But yesterday I made the big announcement that in Los Angeles, not this weekend, but next weekend, I would be debating alongside Secular Talks' Kyle Kalinske against uh, Turning Point USA's Candace Owens and Turning Point USA's Charlie Kirk or possibly against Candace Owens and Dan, uh, I think Dan, Dan Bongino? Bongino, yeah. Bongino, I'm sure, I forgot his first name was Dan. It has been so hectic. I have been put on and taken off of like three or four different things by Politicon. Kyle Kalinske was scheduled, as far as he knew, to debate Ann Coulter. That has since been canceled because Ann Coulter decided she doesn't want to do it. So I already have to sort of take a step back from what I told you yesterday. You know, this is so crazy. On Monday night, at 11.30 p.m., I was texting with the Politicon people, and they said, we've got this debate for you on Sunday. And I said I was planning to fly home Sunday. I'll change my flight. Is this confirmed? Is, th is this definitely happening? And they said, it's absolutely happening. You, Kyle, Candace, Charlie, Sunday at 3 p.m., something like that, uh, uh, Pacific time, go ahead and change your flight. And I did it. And Kyle and I yesterday were texting back and forth, and we noticed that that debate still wasn't listed on the Politicon website. And as of this morning, it still wasn't. So I decided to email Politicon and say, I'm wondering, given that I changed my flight, when you're going to list this thing on the website. And they said, well, we're listed as soon as the panel is confirmed. To which I said, at 11.30 p.m. last night, you told me it's confirmed. Change your flight. To which they said, oh, yeah, the panel's confirmed. The panelists haven't confirmed, though. Yeah. 
And I, I think because they're calling it a panel, a conversation, a discussion. They think they can just switch anybody in. Yeah, because, you know, debate implies that you have to do some background research. You have to do a lot of preparation. And On you the certainly people. want to know your opponent a couple weeks ahead of time. Yes. But because they're using these other words, these code words, that allows them to get around it. So, uh, you know, there's a sort of obvious question, which is if it turns out that it's going to be David Pakman and Kyle Kolinsky versus third stringers from the Daily Wire, for example, was that worth changing my flight when that's going to require me to miss a day of the show, which I take seriously every time that, you know, I'm off. That's a decision that we make. We take it seriously, right? We, we pay our guest hosts. It's not just, hey, whatever, I'll just change my flight and not show up. So quite frankly, I don't know what's going on. I hope that Pacman and Kolinsky <laughs> versus Owens and Kirk is happening. Otherwise, I hope it's Owens and Bongino. Kalinsky and Pacman versus unknown Daily Wired third stringers or something like that is very much less interesting to me, and I don't know what's going on at this point. Imagine if like another organization did this, like the NFL. We thought that the Patriots were going to play the Bears yep. Sunday at 3 o'clock, but we're instead subbing in. <laughs> they're playing the Lions uh, Monday night. Like, you can't do that. You can't do it. You can't do it. You shouldn't do it anyway. And uh, I'm just telling you, so why am I telling you this today? If you went out and bought a ticket to fly to L.A. and bought a ticket to Politicon on the basis that I was participating in that debate, and I know people in our audience are doing that and people in Kyle Kalinske's audience are doing that. They're traveling across the country for these events. Maybe you want to wait because the panel is confirmed, but the panelists, it's like when Trump said, what was it? The story is real, but the news is fake or something like the reporting is real, but the news is fake or something like oh, that. It doesn't yeah. make any sense, right? The panel is confirmed. It has to be but one or the, the other. It doesn't, yeah. yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Apology in advance if you book the non-refundable ticket and this ends up not happening. All right. So I've actually said on multiple occasions in which I spoke about this issue, I made sure to make clear, even though the onus isn't on me in any way to do so and that there's no requirement or necessity for me to do so, I've explained that we don't even know if this debate is actually going to happen despite it supposedly happening, right? Because we don't even know if this is really going to happen. First of all, obviously because of the track record of, uh, of Politicon and we know people pulling out left and right and chickening out. But they, we don't even know who the confirmed panelists are. So basically what David was trying to explain was is that, uh, you know, we Kyle and I got sort of worried because we're like, you know, I changed my flights to go on this day and, you know, it's not on the official Politicon website yet, meaning that we're afraid that it's not really confirmed, <laughs> which to me seems like a totally legitimate, valid concern because of what Politicon's been doing. So it would seem to make sense to me. Um, and so basically he emailed them and asked, you know, uh, is this confirmed? And basically they responded with, yes, the panel is confirmed, but the panelists are not confirmed. Now, this is important because if you here's the issue that Politicon is running into. This is some borderline frauding shit, right? Because it's like you can't tell people who then who tell the people debating who then promote it to their fan bases that I'm going to be doing X. And then that person purchases that ticket based on the idea of X occurring that was promised, uh, which was funneled through by Politicon themselves, obviously. That's borderline frauding, right? I mean, that's borderline frauding because you're saying, you know, Ann Coulter versus Kyle Kalinske is on. Buy your tickets now. Well, okay, it's like she pulled out of the debate, and it's all your fault, so the, they're not going to get to see the debate for the ticket that they just purchased. I'm hoping they're at least providing refunds, because that's not fair to the people who are purchasing tickets, and for next year, they need to be on this. Like, honestly, I'm just going to say this right now, I doubt Kyle's going again next year, because I feel like he's the type of person who should be like, you know what, fuck you, I'm not doing this. <laughs> I'm not doing this again. I feel like he's that type of person, um, but... It's just, it's unprofessional and it's, it's trashy. The thing is, is the difference between, uh, a Kyle and David versus Charlie and Candace, which would be amazingly interesting. I would be heavily, heavily entertained by that, uh, by that debate in comparison to, as David Pakman mentioned, you know, third stringers from the daily wire, like those idiots, like Michael Nowels and losers like that, who don't, who just are lackeys basically, uh, on that network. Um, 
it would I'm not gonna watch that. Like you think I'm gonna watch David Packman and Kyle Kalinsky versus Michael Nowels and some other douche from the Daily Wire? No, I don't care. Like Andrew Clavin, like the old guy who looks like he's like a grandpa. Like, no, I'm not watching that. Like that's so boring. Uh I'm sure some of you guys would watch a lot of you guys would watch it maybe, but personally I'm not gonna watch that because for me that's just it's so it's so boring. It's just it doesn't sound like, even that CIA guy. Don't do Candace in the CIA. I don't care about the CIA guy. He's irrelevant. Let's see a Charlie Kirk and Candace Owens versus Kyle Kalinske and David Pakman because they're on the same plane. They're both new media. Fi- they're f- all four of them. The two groups are all me- new media figures, so they're at least on the same plane, uh, and it would be super interesting because of the ideological divide. And, of course, the abundance of uh, extreme stupidity on the side of Charlie Kirk and Candace Owens, with the opposing side obviously being without all that massive amounts of stupidity, right? So, I want to see that. Politicon, you need to get things confirmed, okay? You can't just say these things are going to happen and then have it not happen. We need this 2v2 to happen or else you're losing all credibility.